today we've come to Sussex to visit the national lofts of Pullyfat Brothers of Crawley. Good afternoon John and Colin. Good afternoon Keith. Good afternoon Keith. How long have you been racing in John? Um, well we, we started actually racing in 1949, young ones, but we had pigeons prior to that as schoolboys. Yeah, well, you know. What sort of racing do you prefer? Well, all, in later years, mainly national and channel racing. I mean, we used to fly week to week stuff um, for years, but then we wanted to go up the league a bit, you know what I mean, and have a go at the big races. Yeah. And uh, that's been our priority now for, on towards 20 years, I suppose you could say. Yeah. Probably half of our time, you know. What's some of your best positions in Colin? Well, we're, we're obviously very proud of, uh, of all our performances, but I would say uh, quite obviously our second open pole on two occasions has, has brought us an awful lot of enjoyment. Um, very proud of the fact that uh, in 1981 we were second open pole with the checker end of, uh, of the family that we uh, still maintain. Uh, in 1989, um, dark checker cock for brother John when he was flying on his own was also second open and the cock is still with us uh, and they're two of our major performances. Um, certainly we've also been uh, fortunate enough to top the uh, London South Coast Combine on a few occasions and I must say that those likewise gave us an awful lot of enjoyment beating guys uh, in and around this area. Um, all performances uh, bring enjoyment, but I suppose those really are the pinnacle of, uh, of our success so far. Yeah, this is one of our old um, bird sections, Keith, that we fly natural, as you can see. Um, we've been paired about 10 days, one or two have laid out now, but I think the cold weather's got something to do with the one or two of them being a bit late. Um, when do you normally pair up then? We usually pair about the 17th of March, you see, but this year we've come two weeks early because we're going to have a try at the celibacy this season coming. Yeah, this is the black velvet cock, Keith, that's been, I should say, possibly our best pigeon. Um, he flew Poe on the day, first time of asking, as a two-year-old, uh, 539 miles. He won the East of England Open to a westerly position, which I'll consider was a good performance, doing eight and nine hundreds. He went on and then flew Poe and was first section, second Open, in 1989, um, very little racing he's had in his career, but his offsprings and grandchildren, all through the card, were getting damn good pigeons from him. You what family is he then, John? He's he's mainly all our own pigeons, but we brought from up London with us. There's a bit of John Challen, a Cookham Dean in there, which is C and Delbar. Uh, also one of Eric Cannons, a blue hen out of his um, diploma winner. I had a daughter out of that, which makes this a great-grandson. He was bred from a grandson of Eric's blue hen. Yeah, the dam of this pigeon, Keith, is uh, a velvet hen that we bought from Jim Shepherd down in Hambrook, which was out of his Lady Di, that was the only pigeon on the winning day from Marseille for him in the BICC a few years back now, because this cock's 10 years old this year. Yeah, main uh, form of racing, Keith, is, is the natural system that we've done over uh, a number of years, as, as we've said. Uh, we are, in fact, looking to improve all the time. And in line with that, uh, we have uh, played about with the celibacy last year and prepared them up for the latter races. Uh, we're going to endeavour to do that again this year to try and get that little bit extra out of them at the early races. Um, that quite naturally uh, at the classics we want to do well throughout. Poe being the, uh, the prime goal, but certainly the other races supporting that. We, like most fancies, like to do well and like to keep our name there. Yeah. Um, our feeding methods um, vary depending on the time of the year that we're at. In the winter time, once the malt is out of the way, we feed uh, a very um, lowering diet of depurative by and large, having got them over a good malt. Um, perhaps I should uh, redress that just a little bit and say that we believe very much in, in feeding the very best that is available to ensure that the birds get the best mould it's possible to get. Um, when it comes to the racing season and um, we get them into the training mode, we train really hard when it gets close to the important races. Depending on the birds, of course, we, 
We don't do that with all and sundry because they've all got their peculiarities and uh, some need the heavy training and others do not. And it's just recognising and being observant with your birds and determining just that fact within your family. That's lovely. Um, feed wise during the racing season, again as I say it varies. Uh, we feed uh, primarily a protein diet but we're very keen on the mixtures. We feed a particular mixture that we found that has served our purposes really well over the years. And, and we try to stick with that and we buy it in at the, the beginning of the season like we believe uh, all good fancies tend to do if they can um, and feed off of that one stock throughout the season. Yeah, this is, uh, we've got three lots actually, Keith. Um, this one on the left hand side here, we've got four individual Averys to guarantee parentage. What's this for stock birds? Uh, for our stock birds, like yeah. you know, our, our um, pigeons that have done it on the road basically, um, we put them off on the stock, then you see, and um, we find it works very well. They've got a couple of nest boxes in each of them, so that you know, they've got somewhere to go when the youngsters grow from to lay out again, and so yeah. on. And then the next loft here is one we use for young birds, it's, it's very old now, but. Um, we don't take too much serious business with young bird racing. What we do, and, and to give you an outline on it, we train them thoroughly to the coast, as regular and as often as we can. We don't do no inland racing at all with any of our pigeons, because we're not members of any clubs, it's actual yeah. fact. And um, our young ones get trained to the coast, and their first race is Guernsey, or could be Sartilly. And the third loft is your old bird loft. This is our old bird loft. Yeah. And the middle section, as we've seen, is basically um, for the breeding. And what we're gonna do this, we hope to do this year, is we're gonna breed in the middle section. After we've got them setting on the second set of eggs, we're gonna separate cocks to this side, hens to that side, and fly them celibate. You heard your trap through the open doors? Straight through the open doors they come, and we let them run together when we're gonna send them off racing. This is our red end, Keith, that's flown the Poe National five times for us. She scored uh, each time apart from her last time of visiting. Her best performance, is, or best performance has been the 58th Open Poe two years ago. Uh, she's been an extra special pigeon to us. In 1993, in fact, she was our only bird out of uh, 25 or thereabouts that we sent on the day, which was a very difficult race. Um, she's always answered when the going gets tough. Um, and she's now made her way to one of the stock sections where we intend to do uh, our best breeding from her. Yeah, her breeding is, uh, is all her own blood really. A uh, grand uh, dam on her sire's side, in fact, was her second open po checker hen in 1981. Um, and on her, I mean, her colour really comes from uh, Woody Wilson, a lark all blood that uh, goes back through our family over a number of years. This is the scene inside the stock loft. It's, yep. it's actually a, a wire aviary with just four sections, Johnny. I think it's a that's, wonderful idea. That's right. Yeah, well, you see this way around, you can guarantee the parentage. I mean, they've got a couple of nest boxes up there that they can take whatever they want to do. Um, and, the, and the little dark velvet hen there, by the way, is our number one stock hen and has been for several years now, breeding pigeons to fly po five times, always in the, in the result. Um, and this season, I'll tell you a little bit more about her actually, she's from uh, again Jimmy Shepherd down in Hambrook. She was purchased from him as a baby and got her eye knocked out as in the young bird loft, which stopped us from putting her on the road as it happens. Um, and you could say it was a blessing because as I say, she's our number one breeding hen. Her sire is a great Maradona that won Barcelona for him, only bird on the winning day in the BICC. Yeah, this is our blue cock Keith that was uh, first section, fourth open in London South East Classic Guernsey race. He was going there in the, for the first race of his life. Um, I must say that training wise he probably had uh, more training uh, light races than most people have with their young birds in terms of racing them through the program. His breeding is, uh, is in the purple, his dam through Poe five times. Uh, she was ninth open herself as a baby in the BBC. Uh, from Wrens, she was 30. Sorry, she was 41st Open Po National, um, along with other positions. Unfortunately, she went down at the Po National uh, this year, gone, which claimed a lot of uh, top pigeons, including the dam of this pigeon. The sire of this pigeon again comes from Jimmy Shepherd from Hambrook, and um, he likewise went down at the same Po National. Unfortunately. I 
I must say, John, the birds look very tame. Yeah. Um, very quiet. That's right. Well, what it is, as you would imagine, is, is people spend a lot of time with their birds, is what we do. And that is one thing, um, from an environment point of view, I, I stress that it counts for such a lot. You know what I mean? You have to talk to them, be kind to them, and they'll respond. Yeah, this is the cop that we got from the Point National last year, Keith, which, as you know, is a bit of a disaster. And like I said earlier on, our, young, our pigeons don't have to particularly race as young ones, as long as they're thoroughly trained. For a typical example, this cop never raced as a baby at all. Very lightly raced as a yearling, and he went to Poe for it for the first time year before last, and was our fourth pigeon, came a good pigeon. And now this year on the most disastrous, disastrous race, we were very delighted to see him. He was our pigeon and our only pigeon. On the winning day, as you know, there was very few pigeons home. Yeah, what, what, what was his due take, John? He was, he was sixth section, 40, 46 or 47 times, I believe it was. I'm not too exactly sure now. This lot visit today I've enjoyed very much. Pretty fat brothers have been one of the top long distance racing lots for many, many years. And I've always admired them. Tremendous, tremendous pigeons and fanches. Well lads, thanks very much for having me here today. I really, really enjoyed this loft visit. You're very welcome, Keeper. Very pleased to see you, actually. But it could be a bit better day. It's freezing at the moment, yeah. as you can tell. Thanks a but, lot. No, delighted.